guys welcome back to tutoring with abdul hope you guys doing okay in today's video we'll be covering uh, what a megameter is and what types of megameters are available there um, a megameter is a device which is used to check uh, resistance of an insulation uh, whether if it's receptacle or a motor winding uh, in this video we'll also be covering um, we'll be using a digital multimeter to check for the me uh, resistance check uh, so please stick around and watch this video first to understand how to use these To check the resistance of, uh, to the ground of the lead the, uh, To check a motor if it's grounded so you connect a, a lead to the ground and another one to the, one of the three phases as you see you see like a open load so Open load mean that's a good. It's not grounded to the phase. The ground is not directly connected to the phase. <laughs> we will check the second phase right now. Uh, same thing. It's open to the ground. So that seems like two of the phases are okay. I'm sorry, my motor, uh, my meter still just died to reboot it. Yeah, check the second phase again. It's reading open. The third phase uh, is reading open too. The ground so we are okay with the ground and we will be checking the face to face resistance and i put it on a 20 ohm because the face to face should only read between 15 to 16 ohms um, so i'm reading 15.6 ohm uh, you don't have to press that button but yeah it's a low low ohm you can just read it by connecting those two probes uh, yes uh, now i connect one in three i uh, still reading 15.6 Connect 2 and 3, it's still reading 15.6. So that seems that, that said that motor is okay. But if, if let's say if I read it with a higher ohm, I'm still reading, uh, it's, it might take a while to bring to the point, but it's still reading 15.6 uh, ohms. And now check the 1 and 3, I'm 2 and, th two and 3 right now. 15.6 again now if you go to very high ohm they will see, they will not read anything because now we selected the mega ohm and the ohm we are reading only is 15 to 16 ohm so the mega ohm will not detect that ohmage so whenever you're reading the face to face make sure that you have it on a lower uh, resistance like uh, 220 anything like below that mega ohms will be okay so you can read it analog uh, mega right here so you'll see those on uh, that needle and two probes i'm checking it to the ground i'm checking the three phase motor to the ground uh, once you connect the ground connection with the phase you hit that test button you see i'm reading very high ohm mega ohm there so that means that phase is okay I'm reading around uh, somewhere like 20 oh, mega ohms, so which is pretty high, which should be good. Uh, same thing, I'm reading very high <coughs> when I'm reading it to the ground, checking ground to the phase two or second wire of the, the three phase motor. Now I'm checking the phase, uh, third phase of the motor to the ground. Okay, I'm reading very high also so that means i'm okay with the phase to the ground connection so that's not grounded that motor now if you check the phase to phase connection with a mega make sure that you bring your resistance down almost to 20 uh, 200 ohms so you can read a value there if not it will not read anything uh, I will give you a false reading but if you yeah look at that I'm uh, I'm reading five points some number uh, face to face I'm reading 5.6 that's uh, I'm sorry 15.6 15.6 should be the number that I'm reading <laughs> I made a mistake these things happen I'm human this was not the right connection I was not making a good connection that's why I read zero uh, <clears throat> once you make a good connection between phases you should read a <clears throat> 15.6 i'm sorry 
about my throat so now I have to make it right to see like if it's making good connection once you see a good connection there you have to you should see like 15.67 ohms and it will be after a little bit struggle because <coughs> I'm uh, if I touch this probe I'll probably get a shock that's why I don't want to <coughs> do it I'm very careful there and you guys should be too 15.6 there the reason is jumping because I'm moving around the wire <coughs> but that should be 15.6 15 point some number <coughs> many so a decimal number between 15 and 16 will be okay if it is consistent between these three phases so if it would help if you have a I had an alligator clip or something to put on there so it started at 15.6 there good again the moving needle or the needle not being stable is because I'm not having a good connection there um, I had a good connection with the digital maker because I had an alligator clip there see it's uh, holding up at 15.6 right now because I was forcing my probes against those phase wires now I'm double checking it again 15.6 that's a, the small number you see is 5 and you have 10 there so 15 and um, some change number on there so the good thing is I'm pretty consistent there so I'm reading consistency between phases and that uh, in the mega if you see that white area right there that means it's a, if you see reading face to face that should be okay there but if you have to be consistent now once I read to touch the both probe and test it see what I read I should be reading somewhere zero see like if you open if you go all the way to the bigger ohm you will read a zero but it's opposite when you have a lower ohm and you go touch that test probe um, this part is just to check the mega the checking process will be uh, put it on the lower ohm or the lower ohm then test that button and the higher ohm and test it button see what the difference is and that will tell me like you know if you are really going to check your mega just touch your probes and then test it see what are you reading and that was the mega process the motor is okay face to face and face to grounds thank you now how to read the same thing with a multimeter connect one probe to the ground another one to the face to check it with the ground uh, we are open so we have no connection there which is good to the ground we have to see open or higher omega ohm um, <clears throat> anything you read above uh, one mega ohm or above to the ground is okay but if you read anything below mega ohm and it's readable then that means you're grounded so that's my probe too um, I'm struggling to find it because I don't want to have I don't want to touch it the motor so I don't want to make another ground connection there so yeah that's pro that's a uh, phase two still reading open to the ground so we are okay with the two phases now we'll check the third phase I'm reading open to the ground too so that's good that motor is okay it's not grounded to the now let's check it one more I think I'm checking it one more time there yes it's open to the ground so <coughs> that means it's not shorted or it's not connected to the ground the insulation is not gone where it's uh, connected to the ground so it is not connected to the ground so we are okay we are open now we checking the ground if it's uh, if our meter is okay yeah so i'm reading the ground right now i'm checking this is the insulation this is the paint so paint will not read because it's it's not conductive so i'm, I'm looking anything that have a conduct conductor connection so we're checking face to face on face to face I should read a 15.6 or 15 point some ohms uh, the reason I'm jumping around these numbers because it's I don't have a good connection there once I find a good connection I'm struggling to find a good connection there so whenever I get a good connection with the probes I'll get 15 
and some ohms if the motor is okay. We checked it earlier with a Megger. We were reading 15 point some ohms. So this should be the same thing. Shouldn't be much different because I can read lower uh, resistance with this motor. Now my, yeah, 15.7, 15.6 ohms. Good. Now check the second one between two and three. Or what I can't see the number, but it's a one and two, two and three, and one and three. So 15.6, 15.5. That motor seems to be okay. And now I'm double checking it again one more time. Let's see how we read the motors. Fifteen point five, fifteen point six. So that that motor is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong with that. And um, to check a to check a motor for the shore, uh, you have to check it with the ground first. Then you check it face to face. And now I'm checking it face to face again one more time to show you guys like how you check the face to face connection and what you should read. Uh, of course, I can't read the meter, but it's fifteen point. 15.5 15.6 ohms there you go 15.7 so anything you read between 15 and 16 or any, anything that should be consistent to read it that motor should be fine and that's how you check your meter if it's reading right when you connect your probes together you should read zero ohms so it should be